Total Build. Starting your first quote. Let's get started. First, open the Total Build program. Click the Easy Price Pro icon. Click the Total Build option. Click Start a new quote. The program opens. Initially, you will be in your master file. See, the file name at the top is Total Build. You begin on the Client and Job Details page. Complete the details. Remember to choose a start date. Now click Save and Start New Quote. You need to tell the program how you are going to choose the estimating modules for the job. There are two options. Option 1 is to choose them when you get to the pricing sheet. If you select this option, you'll be taken straight to the pricing sheet where you can begin choosing your modules. Option 2 enables you to select the estimating modules you want now. We'll look at option 1. OK, so we're taken to the pricing sheet for this job. We can see that the file name has changed to the client name. Now, we need to bring the estimating modules we require for the job onto the pricing sheet. OK, to bring a module into the pricing sheet from the module library, click Add New Module. A form opens. This form contains all the estimating modules that your program has. They're listed in alphabetical order. Select the module you require by clicking on it. It will highlight blue and be brought onto the pricing sheet. You just repeat this process until all the estimating modules you require are on the pricing sheet. You do have the option to add more than one module at a time if you want. Click the Add New Module button, then click Add Multiple Modules. A form opens. All the modules that are included with your programme will be listed here on the left. Click on the module you require to highlight it, then click the Add Item button to put it on the Estimating Modules selected list on the right. If you add a module in error, click to highlight it on the right hand side and click the Remove Item button. When you've selected the modules you require, the modules will be loaded as per the entry settings in the order that they're listed. OK, once you have one, a few or all the estimating modules for the job on the pricing sheet, you're ready to start pricing. Let's go over the basics. The pricing sheet follows the same logical format throughout. To calculate the costs of the job, you enter the basic details into the relevant colour-coded boxes. Here's the key, and we'll be showing you the key in action whilst we're learning about the layout of the pricing sheet. First, I'll increase my working space. The first estimating module on this pricing sheet is the door hang internal. Here's the title of it. It is in a yellow box, so it can be adjusted if required. Just click in the box and type the name you want to call it. OK, now we enter the requested information into the red box. This module is asking us to enter the quantity of doors that we will be hanging internally. Enter the number. Instantly everything will be calculated. Is that easy? Now just check the settings. Every module works in the same way, so once you've got to grips with one, you will understand them all. Every item or task that may be required to hang this door internally is listed in its own line and has its own interactive form that's accessed by clicking on the question mark. The details for every item or task are laid out as per the column headers up here. The first line in this estimating module is the door lining. We'll look at this item in detail, working from left to right. You can click the question mark. This opens a pictorial reference. Here, you can fine-tune the details. So the time taken to fit a door lining can be adjusted. You'll notice that if this time is changed, you can instantly see how the cost of this item will be affected. You can adjust the tradesperson allocated to carry out the task in this drop-down menu. You can also change the material. Again, the costs will change instantly to reflect your selection. When the question mark form is set to your preferences, click Exit. You can switch this item and the other items and tasks in this module off if they're not required. Click the tick, it becomes a cross and the costs for the door lining will be removed. To bring it back, click the cross, it becomes a tick, the costs return. Here is the drill down for the material or plant item that has been selected. This item has come from the material library. It's located in the PSE timber subsection of the material library. This is the actual item. 
You can, if required, adjust these settings. So if you want to select something different from a different subsection, use this drop-down menu. Select the subsection of the library the item's in. This drop-down will then be populated with all the items in the chosen subsection. So you just choose the one you want. Here is the unit cost. These are the green boxes indicating the prices come from the library. The quantity column is here. Any material costs associated with an item or task will go in this white box. Any plant costs will go in here. The associated hours of the item or task will be in here. The cost of the label will go in here. Here's the total for this item. The tradesperson who's allocated the task is here. And here's the work section that this task will be allocated to within the payment and work schedule. Every estimating module works in the same way. When you get to a new estimating module, just do the following. Look at the boxes at the top of the module. Check the red ones. What is being asked for? Click on any thumbnail pictures or red or blue question marks if you're not sure. Then enter the numbers that are relevant to your job into the red boxes. Are there yellow drop downs at the top of the module or any blue boxes? If there are, again, check what's being asked for. Enter or adjust any details so that the estimating module calculates for the requirements of your job. When the boxes at the top are completed, the program will calculate everything that it possibly can for you within the estimating module you're in. So scroll down the module. Click the question marks for any items that you want to fine tune. Check the yellow boxes in the pictorial form. Is this how you want it to be worked out? Is the timing correct for this job? If it needs adjusting, do this. Do you actually need this item? If you don't, click the tick to remove it or click the cross to bring the costs back in. Check over the yellow boxes. Is that the plant, material or tradesperson you want to use? Is it allocated to the work section you want? If it is, continue moving on. If it isn't, click on the box, view the available items or tradespeople in the drop-down menu and choose the one that you do want. Another useful feature is the magnifying glass. Some of the item descriptions in the yellow drop-down are quite long. If you click on the yellow drop-down box in the description column and then click the magnifying glass, the entire drop-down pops out and is made larger. You can select the item you need and enter it in. At the bottom of each pricing section, you can view the totals for any plant, materials, hours, labour and the overall total. Remember, these are the direct costs. No markups or VAT have been added. You'll also have an option to add an additional line if an unusual item is required that isn't listed. Click the Insert Line button and add the details. If you do need a bit more help when you're pricing, I have already mentioned the movies, which are an excellent resource, and the pictures, which give you a visual representation. There are also info icons throughout. Click on them and you're likely to find the answer to your query. There are a few ways to move around the pricing sheet too. You can scroll down or you can click the Jump to Module button. This opens a form with all the estimating modules that are on the pricing sheet listed. Just click on the one you want to view and you'll be taken to it. At the top of every estimating module, you can see the wastage percentage that's going to be allowed on materials. It is in a yellow box, so you can change the percentage if you want. If you want to remove an estimating module from the pricing sheet, click in the yellow title box of it and click Remove Module. The program will ask you to confirm its removal. Click OK and you'll receive a message once it's been removed. You also have the option to export the whole pricing sheet to a PDF document if you wish. When you have entered all the details for the estimating modules that you've brought onto your pricing sheet, you're ready to generate the reports. OK, the first report we want to go to is the Summary. Click the Reports tab and click Summary. You can watch the detailed movie on the Summary by clicking this button. We're just going to whiz over the basics. The Summary contains a snapshot of each estimating section. These are laid out in the same order as the pricing sheet. You can scan through, viewing the totals and hours for each section. Does something not look quite right? Go back to the pricing sheet and check the details of that module. You can scroll right down or click this button to view the totals. 
Check the markups and overheads percentage. Use the sliders to adjust it if required. Here's the total. You can export the summary as a PDF if required. The next report to go to is the payment schedule. Click reports, click payment schedule. There is a detailed movie on the payment schedule that explains the ins and outs of how it works and how you can adjust it if you want. Once the payment schedule is set to your preferences, click reports and go to the work schedule. The work schedule is based on the order the work sections have been allocated to the payment schedule. This is a client-friendly document that you can save as a PDF and send to your client. You can edit the work schedule. If you click View Work Schedule Chart and click the Edit button, you can change the start date for the work sections and increase or decrease the trades who will be carrying it out. If you're going to include a retention, use this report now. When you've checked the summary, payment schedule, work schedule and added any retention, you're ready to generate the written quote. Click Reports, click Quote. The quote will now draw together the details from the pricing sheet and other reports. You can edit this if you want by using the Edit Quote button. The simplest way to adjust the content of the main body of the quote is to export it to Microsoft Word. You can also export this quote to a PDF. You can access a complete bill of quantities, a material order, a Gantt chart, plant report, a summary for your client and further charts that show information about the job. OK, so when you've finished your quotation, you will want to save it. Use the Options tab, hit Save. When it's saved, click the red X to close the programme. To reopen quotations, click the Easy Price Pro icon. The quote was made in Total Build, so we click that programme option. Now click Open Existing Estimate. This opens your Clients folder. Here you'll see the quotations that you've prepared. To reopen an estimate, just click on it. Remember, when you open an existing quote, you do not need to click the Save and Start Quote button. Just use the tabs at the top of the programme to navigate around the programme. That does bring us to the end of this movie. If you do need any further help, then please call 0845 612 4747 and select the sales option.